Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who know me, you know that I love Canva. I love using Canva for my KDP designs and it really offers the customizability that I enjoy without being too complex and it really helps with designing anything from a KDP cover to an interior and it just looks so professional but it's simple at the same time and I love it. And in this video today, we're going to be talking all about Canva and how you can use Canva to streamline your KDP design process. I'd say Canva offers some of the most features when it comes to design. And for some people, I can see it being a little overwhelming at first, but once you get a feel for Canva and you understand all the little tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you, then it is going to be so much easier to design your KDP covers and they'll also stand out so much more. And also quick disclaimer, so I have a Windows computer, so the keys and shortcuts and whatnot that I'm going to be using are going to be a bit different than if you have a Mac. So if you have a Mac, you might need to look up the shortcut variations, what the differences are. I'm not really sure what they are, but hopefully you should be able to accomplish the same things on your Mac. All right, so let's get right into it. The first trick is to align everything evenly with the tidy up button. So one thing that I find kind of annoying about Canva, at least if you're still a beginner to it and you don't really understand it, it can be really hard to figure out how to line things up properly and make things even, especially if you're going to design like a KDP interior and you just have a bunch of lines back to back. It can be really tricky because especially for me, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So if things aren't like just perfectly lined up, it kind of bugs me, especially if I can tell like, oh, it's just like, it's just missing a little something. But Canva has this really handy tidy up button that makes it so much easier. And here's what you gotta do. So when you're in your Canva design, start by selecting everything that you want to position evenly, and then go up and you'll see the position button. If you look down, there should be a section that says space evenly, and then just press tidy up. Once you press that, everything will be lined up perfectly and evenly, most likely. You might have to play around a little bit with it. It doesn't work for all elements and Canva might overcompensate, things like that, not really get what you're trying to go for. But if you use it right, especially if you just have a bunch of lines going down, then they will all be the same space apart and it'll be so much easier. The second trick is to use the search filters for only free or pro elements. So if you don't have Canva Pro, first off, I would like to highly recommend it. Canva Pro is like my favorite software ever. I love Canva, like I would die for Canva. Okay, maybe not that crazy, but I love Canva like so much. I use it for all my design things. Anyway, I'm not gonna go off too much on that. But basically, if you're still on the Canva free version, it can be kind of annoying looking for elements and seeing that little crown icon next to like all your favorite elements. And it can be really hard because you're just scrolling and scrolling and you just can't find that right element that you're looking for. And then you finally find it and then it has a crown by it. It's a little disappointing. And if you don't want to shell out the big bucks for Canva Pro just yet, I totally get you. I have a little trick to help you out. So first go to elements, type in an element you wanna look for, heart, flower, square, line, whatever it is that you're looking for. And then right in that search bar, go to the settings. If you scroll down, there is a price section and you'll see that you can select either free or pro. Once you click free, the search results for all of those elements, all of the pro ones will disappear and it'll only have free ones. So when you're scrolling through, you're only able to see the ones that you're able to use, which is really helpful. And also if you have the pro version or prefer to only use pro elements, you can also just go ahead and press the pro button and then you'll only have pro elements. It's really handy and it makes it a lot easier if you're looking for particular elements in either the free or pro version. And now the third trick, is to hold control to bypass the grid. So another thing that can be a little bit annoying with Canva is that when you're trying to align the elements on the design, sometimes it tries to get them to line up with a grid. You know, you're clicking and you're dragging and you're trying to get into just this perfect little spot, but it's just trying to align with Canva's grid. It's trying to make it in the center. It's trying to make it in like the perfect bottom left. And sometimes you don't want it necessarily in that perfect spot. You want your perfect spot, not Canva's perfect spot but fortunately you can bypass this grid there aren't any buttons necessary that you can press to like get rid of the grid i'd recommend still keeping the grid because it is helpful for figuring out the center and whatnot but here's what you can do to temporarily bypass the grid so begin by clicking dragging that element you'll see that it will try to align to a grid but if you want it in just that perfect spot just hold control on your keyboard again might be different for a mac but hold control and that grid will go away and you can put it exactly where you want now I'd like to take a brief moment to talk about this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community packed to the brim with inspiring classes on a variety of different topics, perfect for all sorts of different skill levels. What I love about Skillshare is that it gives me the opportunity to learn about anything that I want and I'm able to explore all of my different interests. 
Skillshare has classes for just about anything you might be interested in, ranging anywhere from photography to even watercolor. Graphic design is something that I have always loved and I've always felt like comes really naturally for me and lately I've decided that I want to really hone that and make my KDP design stand out. And so I took Graphic Design Basics, Core Principles of Visual Design by Ellen Lupton and I absolutely loved it. One principle that stood out the most to me was scale, which basically boils down to making unexpected elements significantly larger or smaller. Using this principle, I created a very unique notebook cover that's very different from a lot of the other designs I created, and I absolutely love it. I love the retro elements and the colors and everything, and I used that larger scale to really help it stand out. And it's also a little sneak peek for my upcoming KDP Canva bundle, so make sure to watch out for that. Okay, so you have got to check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, now let's get back to the video. And now the fourth trick is to use the Colorpick Chrome extension to match up colors. Okay, first off, if you're not using Chrome extensions, please use Chrome extensions because they are so helpful in so many different aspects. First off, the Colorpick Chrome extension is free and here's how to use it. Start by just clicking the button and then move the cursor around to select whatever color on the page you would like to figure out the hex code for. And then click on that exact spot and that hex code will show up. Go ahead and copy that and then go inside Canva, whatever element you want to be that exact color, go to the add a new color section and then you can paste in that hex code and it'll be that exact color. This is something I love to do and it really helps with figuring out what all those little colors are. One thing I especially love doing, like if you are having a hard time coming up with a good color palette or something like that, you can just go onto Chrome and you can type in something like cute pastel color palette and just go to the images and then you'll come up with a whole bunch of different color palettes. You can choose one, you can find your favorite color and then just go ahead and copy that hex code, paste in Canva. It's super easy and it's great for getting that exact color. And then same thing within Canva. If you've got an image and you wanna grab just one of those colors from that image and then incorporate it into the rest of your design, you just have to copy that little hex code and then put it in and then you can make your whole notebook that color. You can make the text to that color, whatever it is. Colorpick Chrome extension is so immensely helpful and I could not recommend it enough. Definitely one of my favorite Chrome extensions. The fifth trick is to copy your designs across different pages with Control C. So let's say you created a design in one of your Canva files and you want it to be in a different Canva file in a different size, something like that. Or maybe you created some cute logo in one Canva design and you want to put it inside another Canva design. All you have to do is go ahead and select whatever elements you want to copy and then go ahead and do control C, copy, whatever works. And then you can hop back across to that other tab, control V, and it will be pasted in that other design. I think this is something that a lot of people don't realize that you can do and it is really helpful. Like for example, I even have like a Canva design file that just has a bunch of my favorite fonts. And sometimes if I'm trying Trying to figure out what font that I want. I just go into that design, I pick out one of the fonts that I really like, I just copy and paste it over to my other design, change the text up, change the color, whatever it is, change the size even, and it's that easy. Especially because sometimes it can be annoying like building text from the ground up, you know, you gotta change the size, the spacing, and everything, but you can just copy it from other designs and paste it in, especially if you really enjoy how another one of your designs looked. Like you can just copy and paste it over, you don't have to go through the whole process of redoing it, just copy and paste it. The sixth trick is to group and ungroup elements to make it easier to move them. Okay, this is really easy. Like let's say you are creating a notebook and you've got like a white square or something. You've got the word notebook. Maybe you have a border around the square. Like we're talking three different elements within one overall like small design and maybe you wanna move that down more. All you gotta do is just select those elements. You can click and drag. Another handy tip is if you just press shift and then just click on those elements, then you'll have them all selected. And then up at the top, you'll find the group button and then you just click group. And then all of those elements kind of become one element and you can just move the whole group at once, especially if you've already decided that that's exactly how you want it to look and maybe you just want to change it up a bit and move it then that makes it easier without having to move each separate element or having a hard time selecting them all or possibly moving them and then if you decide you want to change them up all you have to do is ungroup them you can change up the text or the sizing or whatnot for the separate elements and then you can regroup them if you choose and then just move them. Honestly, grouping elements can be really easy and it's very helpful. The seventh trick is to instantly resize your designs if you got your sizing wrong. 
So one thing that can be a little bit annoying with KDP is that it can be so hard to figure out the designs. Even if you're using a book cover calculator, sometimes if it's just slightly off and you don't have the exact dimensions that KDP was looking for, then you'll have to completely resize your cover. And that can be intimidating for a lot of people, but it doesn't have to be. As long as you know the exact dimensions that you need, all you have to do is resize it. So first off, this is a Canva Pro trick, but I'll show you in a moment what you can do if you don't have Canva Pro. So to resize it, just go into your design that you need to resize it and up in the corner, you'll see a button that says resize, go ahead and click that and then insert your custom size. Just use whatever dimensions that KDP provided with you that you need for your design. And if you don't have Canva Pro, remember trick number five, all you have to do is begin by opening up a new Canva design, use whatever dimensions that KDP provided with you that you need for your cover, and then create that blank canvas. And then after that, just go to town, copying and pasting your images over into the other cover. Especially if you only have them like slightly off, it'll be really easy to get them changed up to that new size. It is a teensy bit more tedious, but it is really easy if you don't already have Canva Pro. Trick number eight is to copy and paste the style of like elements. Sometimes with the elements, whether it's text or a graphic, maybe you don't necessarily want to copy the whole thing. Maybe you just want to copy the style of that thing. Like maybe you have the word notebook on notebook and then down lower you have, I don't know, some other text and you want it to be in the same style as the above text. Obviously one thing you can do is just copy and paste it down lower and then just rewrite it to whatever you want it to say. But another option you can do is to get your text into position and then copy the style of the above text that you want and paste it down into the other text. And then that'll change the style, but it won't change the text itself. It'll still say what you want it to say. And same with elements, you just change the color and size of them without having to actually copy and paste the whole thing. And here's how to do it. So start by selecting whatever element you want to copy the style of. And then above, you will see the paintbrush icon. Go ahead and click on that. And then click whatever element you want to paste the style to. And then that is it. It is really easy. And it's a great way to sort of copy and paste things without actually going through the whole hassle of copying and pasting the entire thing. You can just change up the style. And now the ninth and last trick is to keep a folder of your favorite elements. Sometimes when creating your designs, you're often going to find some elements that you like using a lot that are just really versatile and look good in a lot of your designs. And instead of just using them and leaving it there and then maybe having to go back and copy and paste it over to find it again, all you have to do is favorite it and then you can find it over and over again without losing it or having to search for it again. To do that, begin by finding an element that you like and then within that element, go ahead and click the star button. Once you've done that, all of the elements that you have starred will be in a folder called starred. And then if you're creating a notebook, a design or whatever, and you want to use one of those elements, just go to that folder and you can find your whole list of favorite elements and just use them in your design without having to go back and search for them all. This is especially helpful if branding is something that's important to you with your notebooks, because if you use a lot of the same elements, then you can just incorporate them into your branding. And if you have them favorited, then you won't lose track of them and you can just find them all in one spot and then use them for all your designs. All right guys, that about sums it up. You've probably heard me say it enough, but I'm gonna say it again. I absolutely love Canva. I love using Canva for all sorts of my different designs. I use it for my YouTube thumbnails. I use it for my KDP covers. I use it for even social media graphics. I use it for all sorts of different things and I love Canva. If you're new to Canva and you haven't signed up or anything, make sure to go and click the link in the description to check it out. It is an amazing tool for designing and honestly, like if I didn't have Canva in my life, I don't know what I would do. I hope that these tricks have helped you figure out how to streamline your KDP design process and just made it so much simpler and I hope it's also improved your love for Canva because Canva is so amazing. Now honestly, Bookbolt is a great like really simple design tool for really simple covers and interiors and whatnot, but Canva just has so much customizability to it and I love it and would highly recommend it. As I probably said, like. Like 10 times now. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I would super duper appreciate it and I would love to have you. Hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.